that's it guys evil woman uh black sabbath first um official single release in the uk um first official band release single that is um there's the debut album released on cassette by warner brothers the song evil woman I believe was featured on the European or the Europe versions of the debut album Black Sabbath, um, but was not released on the standard version of the album released in the UK and the USA. Uh, it was only a single, but I think there are some import um, rare import copies of the debut album with Evil Woman on the original vinyl like this one except it has Evil Woman on it I think there's uh, again I think there's um, some import debut albums out there on vinyl and CD where you can buy the album with that song featured on there but it was originally not only on some of the European or the Europe uh, releases of the debut album. Um, but it is on this one. This is the Deluxe Set Edition. That is the A side. The B side was, I believe, Wicked World or Wizard. One or the other. I think it was Wicked World. Uh, that was originally not a Black Sabbath song. Uh, it was a cover and I don't think they ever played that song live Black Sabbath early days maybe Earth there's a different shot of a 15th century Maple Down Water Mill House in Oxfordshire outside of London where the original debut album photo was taken the band there's some paperwork from Regent Sound Studios from the session and here's one of the single um, copies right here featuring Evil Women Don't You Play Your Games With Me and Wicked World by Vertigo Records eerie red filtered blood red filtered photo more recent photo of uh, the location where the debut album was taken debut album photo that is there we go there you go there's some more singles on the bottom Evil Woman and uh, Wicked World. There's the band. Black Sabbath in the early days. Marquee Club poster. Marquee Club was a famous club where a lot of famous bands played at. Like Black Sabbath and uh, or Earth. Rolling Stones played there. I believe um, Yardbirds, Eric Clapton. There's a photo of Regent Sound Studios during the Paranoid Session in June 1970. Some early photos. There's a cool picture, Region Sound Studios in London during the day or during the uh, second album sessions in, of Paranoid. Photo taken the same day, same day I believe as this one. 
doing the Paranoid Sessions. That was the second Black Sabbath album. I noticed uh, Tony Iommi playing his um, <clears throat> three pickup Gibson SG custom or custom S or custom Les Paul, one or the other. But the three pickups and the sideways vibrato. I believe upstairs at Regent Sound Studios was a uh, music store. It was a very small studio where they recorded at. There's a single. Ozzy behind the piano at Regent Sound Studios during the Paranoid Session, 1970. There's the original vinyl release, the CD version of the debut album. I'm sorry if this is a repeat for some of you guys. I just try to get this in on every video. There we go. Check that out. I got the lighting just right. It's inside. I remember when I first heard this song, um, I originally heard it on this album, The Best of Black Sabbath, and I remember I couldn't figure out what album this song was originally on until I found out it was supposedly released on the debut album on some copies, again, like some of the debut album copies released in Europe, um, and then I found out it was a single, but it was basically recorded during the same um, time or even on the same day as the debut album October 16th 1969 uh, and the um, single of Evil Woman I just found out was released on um, January 9th 1970 which is a pretty iconic date uh, Led Zeppelin played at the Royal Albert Hall that day and it was also on Jimmy Page's birthday not a huge big deal but I thought that was pretty cool when you start researching looking at dates and figuring out what was going on and musically at that time period so while Zeppelin was playing at the Royal Albert Hall on Jimmy Page's birthday which obviously we know not to get up too off topic footage can be seen we know that um, Black Sabbath uh, coming out with Evil Woman so the world was wicked of rock and roll. This is one of my favorite Black Sabbath albums, by the way. The Best of Black Sabbath. Uh, I believe this was released in 19... Or, I'm sorry. It was released in 2000, I believe. Cool photos. I like the font they used. the riff master Tony Iommi the one and only it's like mid 70s late 70s Sabbath photos and here's my favorite photo at the end all the albums from the debut album up here. Get a close up on there. Debut album to the uh, 1987 Eternal Idol album featuring Tony Martin on vocals. All the greatest hit songs picked to be on this 2000 Black Sabbath 
album were songs picked from the debut album to um, Black Sabbath's 1983 Born Again album with uh, Ian Gillen on vocals. Unfortunately, there's no songs from Seven Star or Eternal Idol. learned the song yesterday um, and I had to write it down real quick so when I learn songs this is usually what I do I learn the song if I don't have the book and I just write it down the guitar tabs I use a little bit of music theory writing Probably learn a song, easy song, but to write it down fluently and practice it, maybe just took me like an hour. And there's debut album. Unfortunately, it's not in this. Uh, the song is not written out in this book. Should be, but it's not. Hal Leonard make uh, great guitar authentic tab books for authentic albums. course we have the Black Sabbath Anthology book which I use as a reference as well for some Sabbath songs and um, I haven't done one of these in a while to get a nice little look at the SG I'm using 2020 Gibson Epiphone SG Special based off of the early or uh, mid 60s Gibson SG Special two tone, two volume knobs wrap around tailpiece like Tony Iommi's Gibson SG Special I believe his was a 64 so this is kind of based off of like a 63, 64 maybe even a 61 I think in 61 they're still calling these the Les Pauls this is a sparkling burgundy, a little bit of a darker red. Beautiful. Sounds as good as it looks. Some guitars look really good, but they don't sound good. And I got these uh, Epiphone Deluxe tuners. This thing literally feels just as good as a Gibson. I have some. I have. You guys know. I have. I do have a few Gibsons, but some of these these Epiphones are just. To me personally, they just feel and sound just as good. Um, that's all that really matters with guitar playing. It feels good and it sounds good, and it's affordable. There you go. Check it out. Quill, quill cable. Black Sabbath shirt. Master Realities, or Master of Reality shirt, which is their third album. Vox John Lennon Python guitar strap weighs about 300 pounds. But uh, looks pretty bad on here. It's pretty pretty awesome. Leather and metal and leather, baby. Using the Cyber Cadaver again. Thanks again, guys. Um, check out my other video. I'm going to do another one of uh, um, of Evil Woman. But it's the um, the horn version, or the alternative take, or the outtake with the horns in it. And I think Tony Iommi was playing the flute on the non-released single version. It was the outtake. It just has a horn section in it. Um, then again, thanks guys. Please subscribe to the channel, Rockstars92. Thank you very much.